It's been seven days since some Oakland teachers walked off the job. Talks continue between the school district and the union, but there is still no deal yet. KTV's Ali Rasmus spoke with parents on the picket lines and those who decided to cross it earlier today. On day seven of the Oakland teacher strike, we have heard honks of support from people driving past the picket line throughout the morning here at Joaquin Miller Elementary. We've also seen some parents joining teachers on the picket line, but there have also been parents who say they believe their kids should be in school and they decided to cross the picket line today. I've never crossed a picket line before in my life, and yesterday was the first day that I crossed. OUSD parent Francesca Brown was part of a group of more than a dozen parents and kids crossing the picket line together this morning at Joaquin Miller Elementary. I've seen wealthy families put their kids in private schools, and I just see that happening more and more if we have more strikes in Oakland. And then it's our lower income families that are stuck in a dysfunctional system. This is the third time in four years Oakland teachers have gone on strike. There was a one day walkout last year and another seven day long strike in 2019. Add to that more than a year of Zoom school for Oakland students during the pandemic. Some people believe that teachers should be. Um, you know, back in school while negotiating is going on. But I know that that's not how it works, right? They don't have power if they're in school. Parents on both sides of the issue agree Oakland teachers should be paid more, but they're split over whether the district or the union is to blame for this seven day long strike. There's just a delay after delay after delay, and it has created a doubt in my mind about just what the teachers union is really all about. The district has problems and people are not going to put their kids in it in this district until the district is better managed. And I, you know, I think that's what they're fighting for. The union and the school district continue to negotiate things like higher pay for educators, although how that increased pay is distributed among teachers is still up for discussion. So are other things like increasing teacher preparation time, giving schools with 40 percent or more of black students extra resources, and giving teachers more decision-making power on how schools are run by forming community schools. State Superintendent Tony Thurman says he's been mediating the negotiations between the union and the district since last week and spoke favorably about the union's common goods list. There are many uh, unions uh, and agreements on the books in the state and across the country where common good um, type items have been successfully discussed and negotiated. At this separate event in Hayward this morning, Thurman was asked if he thought the strike would continue until the end of the school year. And there's no way for me to be able to predict when exactly. I'll just say if I thought that there was a chance that this was going to take up the school year, I would not be here today. I would have canceled this program. Uh, I, just, I just have to say um, anything is possible, and it is not my decision. Um, the parties decide how long their negotiations go. The school year is scheduled to end on May 25th. There's been some questions about whether the school year could be extended because of the strike. But that is yet another issue that would have to be bargained for and an already complicated negotiation process. In Oakland, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.